I know it's been a long time. I've had a lot of stuff going off and the weather's not been brilliant. The beginning of the year, I think from March onwards, we had rain for two months, pretty much non-stop. And then it cleared up, but then we ended up with then we ended up with some really crappy nights and now it's July. For the last month or just over the last month, the last seven weeks we'll say, I've been doing an experiment and I'm finishing tonight. As you can see, I have the big telescope out. I'm doing a test with the um, I'm doing the test to see what is better for galaxies between no filter. I'm also using the SV Boney um, UHC filter, if I'm correct. It's been a while. And then I'm also using the Nebula filter in this session to see how that goes. It's been two weeks since the last session, just because of the weather. We've had beautiful weather in the day, but at night time, it's been very cloudy. An odd little bit of rain, or very windy here in the UK. Can't make his mind up. In the process, as you can see, I also made a pier. It's concreted straight down to the base. Got some old brake discs off my van, basically. And it just sits here. Wires all run under. And currently, I ended up building some other stuff. So the side of all that junk is gone slightly see cleared it out and I ended up building a little lean-to greenhouse but I also have a new addition I built a room a second room somewhere completely insulated don't have to go through my shed all the time and it has its own separate power internet run into it and the cable for this actually runs straight under and to that so tonight as i said i'm trying the galaxies but i'm using the sv bony oh for the life of me i can't remember what the filter's called i'll put it up on the screen to see how that comes but also with the current time of year the light pollution and the lack of dark skies is very noticeable. I'm currently using my 8 inch Skywatcher uh, 200p, that's the word, doing 10 second exposures. Any more than that, it's just washed out, can't see nothing. So, this is why I'm curious about the filters. So, it's been a couple of days since I finished the experiment with zero filters and filters on um, the galaxies. Um, interesting results. I, with the zero filter, I were, well, basically, with no filter attached to the rig, I was down to 10 second exposures. And the problem I was getting was there was so little um, stars or anything from the um, galaxy when it came to processing it was just trying to stack them it was just a washout there was nothing at all it was just a pure white image sometimes deep sky stacker would just say there was nothing there couldn't detect stars i had to change the threshold all the way down to two percent and it was a detecting like five that was it so it really struggled when i use the, um, the uhc filter and when i use um, the cls it was a better um i was up to around 30 second exposures um but i was having very similar issues with deep size stacker it was very limited with um how many you can run. I think, um, I can't remember which one did one, so which one did which. 
one of them said it could only stack one out of 60 images, and the other one said it could do, um, have no, I think it stacked about 20, something like that. But again, the end results, the pictures were terrible. They were really, really terrible. Um, you couldn't make out the galaxies. You could just barely see some stars. And if you enhanced it or stretched it too much, it was just nothing there. So last result was the dual narrowband filter. Again, from SV Boney. This filter is a hundred... Uh, it's on my screen at the moment. It's £120 currently. And it's advertised to boost the emissions and so forth in the nebulas. But I came across somewhere someone was using one in galaxies. Well, a similar filter. I was like, I'll try it. Well, the results I got were amazingly impressive. Uh, my exposure times were in around two minutes. Um, possibly if you try to do this, if you've got a similar rig at home, you'd probably get more. My problem is I'm well over weight capacity um, for my telescope on that mount. The mount was upgraded to be able to take the weight, but it just really struggled, basically. Two minutes is the longest subject I could do before I was at the star trails. So, yeah, so this is the final image. Let me know what you think. Comment or subscribe. And thank you very much for tuning in again.